Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to show you how I snatch my hair up under my wig. So my hair is already in some Bantu knots and they've been stretched out. And I'm just going to undo each Bantu knot. And then I'm gonna go ahead and use my rat tail brush to go ahead and define my part. So I'm going to go ahead and cornrow my hair. So this is really important because I want my hair to be flat under my wig. I don't want any bumps and I have a lot of hair child, a whole lot of hair. So this part is pretty time consuming, but I'm going to show you guys how I do just one cornrow so you can basically just get the gist. So I just pull a small section like that and then I divide it into three parts. So. Now I'm just going to braid like normal and each time I cross over one section, I'm going to add a little bit of hair to that section. So if you know how to cornrow, you know, this is going to be pretty easy. I'm still quite a newbie when it comes to cornrowing, so I'm not even going to lie and tell you guys like, oh, this went by so quickly. I'm just going to, you know, fast forward through most of this. Um, <laughs> but yeah, basically you just want to make sure that you hold each section pretty tight because that way your cornrow, you know, is going to end up more like flat and less poofy if that makes any sense you get what i mean pretty much <laughs> and then you're just going to braid all the way i kind of left the ends a little bit loose just because it's easier for me to take down that way and that's what it looks like when it's all done i've got about uh, maybe like oh eight <laughs> took me a while to count <laughs> i've got eight cornrows and now i'm gonna lay my edges down so the best way to do this is to just spritz some water on your hands rub your hands together and smooth them on your edges now this not only moisturizes your edges but prepares them to lay down basically so i'm using hicks i'll put a link of the other edge controls that i like to use in the description box now I'm just going to smooth my edges down with my hands. This is why you want your hair to be slightly damp because it's really going to help them just kind of, you know, be a little bit more easier to tame. So I'm just going through section by section, smoothing it down. And I'm a little bit heavy handed on this part because my hair is super thick, even around my edges and my edges don't like to lay down. So I gotta make them lay down if you know what I mean. And now I'm gonna go ahead with my brush and just, you know, go around very gently making sure that they are laid down. Now this is a crucial part. You wanna take a scarf, a head scarf, whatever you got, and tie it around your hair. So what we are doing is kind of, you know, enforcing a little bit of slight pressure so that the hair stays laid. And you wanna keep this on until your hair is dry. So not moist, you know, just nice and dry. So it's been about, you know, 20 minutes, half an hour, and I've taken this down and see the results? They're snatched, super snatched. And here's my wig. Let's just, let's call her Terry. That's what I like to call her. And I'm putting Terry on. Now, um, I got this wig off of eBay. It's pretty good, it's human hair, it curls, you know, uh, hair is pretty good quality. I can't remember exactly where I got it from, but if I can find it, I'll put it in the description box. So I'm aligning the wig to a part in my hair, and now I'm just securing that with um, the little, you know, clips in the wig. Or not the clips, but you know what I mean, the little, like, hair combs. So now I'm defining my part. So I'm taking my rat tail and I'm just like, you know, sliding any excess hairs to the side, sliding it under the wig. And now we can go ahead and prepare the part. So now I'm going ahead with some concealer. You can use liquid or sometimes eyeshadow that's the same color as your scalp is gonna work. And I'm using a like slanted lip brush. And here I'm also adding some black to where the lace is so it's not as easy to see where my hair begins 
and the lace ends, you know what I mean? And also, if you just want to kind of camouflage any like, not balding, but sparse parts on your edges, you can use the black shadow there as well. I found that it just made the wig blend a little bit more seamlessly. And now for another crucial part, I am taking my lash glue and I just lifted the wig slightly and put a little bit of lash glue just on my scalp, not on the hair, that's important. And now I'm pressing the wig down and I like to use just like a comb or something to just kind of press it down until it dries. Sometimes I fan it or if you want, you can use a blow dryer if you're in a hurry so it could just dry quickly. And now we style. So this part is super like self-explanatory, guys, you know? Just take a wand curler, you know, curl small sections. Because the front of the wig is a little bit straight because I brushed it previously, I'm just curling the hair around my face to frame it better. And I just hold each curl for about five to six seconds. And, and then I like, you know, I cup it and then I just let it go. And I'm going to do this uh, on this side and also on the other side. Another thing that I should add, you guys, is you really want to make sure that you don't burn yourself while you're using one of these. This wand curler came with like a little glove, a heat protecting glove, but I can't find it or I couldn't find it at least when I was doing this. <laughs> so just be extra careful as with all heat appliances, you don't want to burn yourself. And so to just make sure that the wig is you know not poofy I just take my wand curler and I just slide it across the top and now I'm just separating those little curls slash waves with my fingers and you know just making it look nice that's all so I'm, I think you know it's pretty dang simple and this hair does hold a curl very well I'll say I'm looking at my wig right now a couple days later <laughs> and those curls are still in there so um, yeah it's a really great unit <laughs> and so that's it you guys this is you know what my wig looks like I hope you enjoyed this and found it useful please make sure you're subscribed if you're new and I will see you guys in the next one bye Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video, as you can see by the title, is going to be the unboxing of this month's Ipsy bag.